Well, this is a test. I don't know. So usually when I do the when I do the videos, um, me in the car, I have the selfie camera. Um, the one downside I've always noticed with doing the videos like that is that they shake a lot, obviously, because uh, the car shakes. Um, and uh, the quality, you know, could be better. So I figured, let's try this. Let's, let's try the, the high quality of the reverse camera. But of course, the problem with that and the problem with uh, me trying to do vlogs uh, the way that a lot of the people with, uh, with fancier cameras do them um, is that I can't see myself on the screen. So I can't see if I'm in the shot. I can't see uh, what's going down. I'm just assuming that I press the button and that when I put it into the little holder there, it didn't screw up. Um, but hey, it's your old pal Chris. Um, I am driving home from picking up some, uh, some Five Guys and some Panera Bread because my family is evenly divided on what to do on Saturday nights, I'll, always. My, my older daughter always wants grilled cheese uh, from Panera Bread, not just grilled cheese, which we could make at home very easily, but grilled cheese from Panera Bread. Uh, and my younger daughter always wants a hamburger. So it's, it's just, and when she doesn't want a hamburger, she wants pizza. I mean, she is, she is the classic American kid in love with junk food. She's me. She's me. Um, at any rate, I, I, I want to talk about some, some panic and anxiety stuff that's been happening this afternoon and, and me realizing why it's happening. So I've been very careful to say no to things uh, this year um, because my tendency as a uh, as a person who has a full-time job and then has a, a a vocation avocation I'm gonna get there I have a passion outside of my full-time job that's related because I teach creative writing that and 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 work for a creative writing program that's my full-time job and then my my other thing is creative writing, right? So I have a tendency to take on a lot of stuff because uh, in the past, I haven't had jobs that were related to what I love to do. And so I would just take on this, I'd say yes and yes and yes because I just wanted to, to do all the things, all the things. I've been very careful not to do that. And as the summer has wound down, what I found myself the reality I found myself in is that I have been checking things off the to-do list and not adding anything to the to-do list. And so I reached a point today where like my buddy Steve and I recorded our podcast this morning. That's one of those things that I'm normally trying to figure out all weekend and it normally happens on like Sunday night and that's done. That's like my major thing for the weekend and it's done on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. It was done. You know, I came home and I ate lunch with the family and then I laid down for a three hour nap. It, <laughs> and I woke up panicky about it. I was like, how could I let myself do this? And then I looked at what I had to do today and it was nothing. I didn't have anything to do today. Like, and I, that's weird for me. Cause I know Saturdays and Sundays, like the weekend, the weekend is a weekend for people. Like people do weekend stuff, they relax. I don't know how to do that. I don't know if you've, if you've figured this out about me, but I'm not a big relaxer. Um, so, so buttons. Um, yeah, so I, I got a book that I'm trying to put out. Um, the school year is starting. You know, there's certainly, we're about to kick into high gear in terms of, of my uh, industry, which is academia. Like, shit's about to happen. But outside of that, I kind of, I, I, I've been much better at protecting my time and now, now I've got time and I don't know, I don't know how to handle that. It's not that I don't, it's not that I'm looking for stuff to do. I don't want more stuff to do. Um, but I don't know how to deal with, with not being overwhelmed. And so I'm creating reasons to be overwhelmed. I'm going on a trip to, to Portland, Oregon uh, in two weeks, I think. 
it would help if I knew, um, to the XOXO Festival, which I've been wanting to go to for years, and I'm finding reasons to panic about that. Even though I'm, I'm just an attendee, I'm not a speaker, all I really have to do is show up and learn and, and absorb and meet people. But I don't know, it's been a long time since I've gone on, a, uh, on an airplane. Uh, it's been a long time since I've gone on any kind of business trip for myself or for what I do. I just, I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like that's a thing that I could be nervous about, so I should be nervous about it. That's, that's, that's what I'm doing. It's stupid, but <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, so I think that's it for tonight, except that since I'm doing this this way, I can't even reach over there and, and push a button because I don't know which button to push. It's like one of the volume buttons under here would stop the video, if the video has even been recording all this time, but I gotta drive, right? So <laughs> I can't, whereas I, a simple glance over, you know, I'd know, oh, push that, right? I can see a big red button. I could push that. Right now, I'm just looking at the back of my phone case, my my bright orange phone case, and I got I got, I got got nothing. So, um, I guess you just gotta wait till I'm parked. That's not good. That's not great. I ran out of things to say like 30 seconds ago, 45 seconds ago. I don't know. I got nothing else. I got nothing for you, man. Hopefully I'll just cut it off at some point and I won't leave all this in. But you never know.